What is up guys, Mr. Nishar75 here today, and today we're going to be discussing what if Majin Vegeta killed Fat Boo in the Boo Saga. In this video we're going to be analyzing how different things would have been if Majin Vegeta actually did kill Fat Boo, and how it would in impact the story. Also guys, if you couldn't already tell, this video was inspired by Kwame, who is an amazing YouTuber. Now on to the what if. This will be in a hypothetical situation where Majin Vegeta, he did die, but he killed Boo along with himself. So the first thing that would happen, obviously the Majin Boo conflict would end. And now that Boo is killed, everyone will be safe, and there will be no, absolutely no reason for Go Goku to teach Goten and Trunks the fusion dance. So in the end, Goten and Trunks would no, have no idea what the fusion dance is or even how to do it. Now that Majin Buu would no longer be around, Goku would most likely choose to stay in other world, judging by kind of the character Goku is. He would choose to stay dead. The next major change is with Gohan. Gohan would not need to be sent to the sacred world of the Kais because he doesn't need the training to defeat Majin Buu. Meaning, Elder Kai would stay trapped in the Z source since Gohan was kind of the one who freed him, and thus, Gohan's mystic power would not be unlocked, making Gohan really, really, really weak. As if he couldn't already get any weaker. <laughs> now here's a big one. Super Saiyan 3 would not be introduced to anyone on Earth. In fact, since, because think about it, Goku used Super Saiyan 3 showing off to Majin B Buu after Majin Vegeta was killed, so Goku would have no reason to use the form on Earth, meaning he would actually be able to stay on Earth a little bit longer during his, you know, day that he was on Earth. So, it's very likely no one would have ever even seen the form or even know if it existed. Other than Goku. Now let's move on to something a little more funny. Mr. Satan, aka Hercule, would most likely said, here, he killed Majin Buu. Yeah, I killed Majin Buu. Since, so since Buu had already been gone, meaning Mr. Satan wouldn't, ha wouldn't have had a change of heart, he'd still be as arrogant, annoying self as before. Obviously, he'd take credit, because, let's be honest, this is Hercule, Mr. Satan. Of course, he's going to take credit. And thus, I would assume he'd be valued the exact same way he did at the end of the series, because at the end of the series, he also took credit for defeating Buu. Now, obviously, everyone else would still be alive and not need to be wished back with the Dragon Balls, since Boo's Bu Human Extinction Act wouldn't have existed, because obviously Boo was dead. Meaning, they would have one, ec two, not one, but two extra wishes to spare. What will they use? Well, we're not sure. For all we know, Vegeta might be able to get a size 9 boots. I'm not kidding, that was an actual line of the dub. Let me play. How about some new boots? Size 9, please! Back to the point. So, you know, back to the, uh, what if Majin Vegeta killed, you know. Since Ve Vegeta would be dead, Vegeta would have never existed, meaning there will be no canon fusion between Goku and Vegeta. Such a shame, such a shame. Come to think of it, there wouldn't be a single canon fusion at all. I mean, out of the main Saiyan ones, but, yeah. Another thing, too. Since there'd be no desperation for Boo's defeat, King Yama and Fortune Teller Baba would not need to grant Vegeta the pass, so he'd be stuck in Otherworld forever. Because think about it, they only let him back on Earth to de defeat Majin Buu. Now that they'd have no reason to let him back on Earth, he would most likely still stay in Otherworld, dead. Now this is the part where uh, some people have made a couple counter-arguments. Some people at Goku T23 have argued saying, Wait, can our Bulma, since Bulma's already seen his heroic act, won't she use the second wish to revive Vegeta? First of all, Vegeta's already been revived once, so obviously Earth Dragon Balls are out of the way. And another thing too, in this what if, we're actually going to use Fusion Reborn as a really good sighting source, alright? Fusion Reborn, in my opinion, takes place in an alternate world where this what if actually did happen, only difference is, you know, Janemba and everything. And notice how you could agree that some time has passed between the defeat of Majin Buu. Bulma and everyone else haven't revived Vegeta and Goku yet. I would assume because they want to stay dead. And obviously, we all know that Goku and Vegeta's pride gets to the better of them. So indeed, Goku and Vegeta would choose to stay dead and would not come back on Earth. And like I said just now, the story would play out very similar to Fusion Reborn, but with a couple major differences. If you notice Fusion Reborn, Janemba was non-canon, so he non-exists. 
If you rewatch Fusion Reborn, after Janemba is defeated, Vegeta and Goku go their separate ways, and thus would stay in Otherworld separately. So, you know, I doubt they meet up with each other unless something big like Janemba happens in Otherworld, something like that. If there is a conflict in Otherworld, because think about it, the seven years Goku spent before the Buu Saga, he learned the fusion dance. He could teach Vegeta the fusion dance, and Gogeta could take down the new threats. So all is going well, right? Well, let's go back to Earth. Since right, since there be no one to defend Earth, the strongest people on Earth right now would be Gohan, Piccolo, Goten, Trunks, and maybe Krill and Tien and Videl. And keep in mind, this Gohan hasn't even had had his mystic power unlocked. And Piccolo, while I'd assume he's still around the same power, it's stated that he's around su slightly above Super Perfect Cell's level in the Boo Saga. But back to the point. Since there'd be no one to defend Earth and the strongest would be those six, this would kind of drive Gohan and Piccolo to train. Because at least in the seven year gap between, uh, after the uh, Cell arc, Vegeta was there to defend it and Gohan as well. Well, this Gohan has been slacking, and if someone were to ever, and uh, something bad were to ever happen again, this would drive Gohan and Piccolo to train, since obviously there'd be no one to protect Earth. This Gohan would actually be very strong, because it, as you can see, Gohan with training can be very well. However, he would not be as strong as his mystic form. His mystic power is still extremely powerful, and, you know, this training, even with as as much training as he can do, nothing will pretty much surpass El what Elder Kai unlocked him in the original. You see, and I'd like to assume after the Boost Saga, Mystic M Gohan's power, like his Mystic power, kind of went away. Because if you notice in Battle of Gods, the movie version, it was still somewhat there. In Resurrection F, he doesn't even use it. He just, he, the best he can do right now is Super Saiyan. So in Resurrection F, he'd be better prepared. But back to our current time. Now we move on to how this would affect Battle of Gods. Now this one took a lot of thought because I kept debating myself two topics I couldn't really make up. Since Goku and Vegeta would be dead, this was the hardest part. Would Beerus still want them to be Super Saiyan God? Because it's it's because Beerus can go to other worlds and you know he can still interact with the dead. But I thought about it for a while. Would Beerus really have interest in a dead Super Saiyan God? Who would want a dead Super Saiyan God? Just and I highly doubt. Well, who knows? This may change in like the newest episode of Dragon Ball Super for all we know. But I highly doubt Whis can revive people. And even even if so, I don't know. It it just does not seem likely because while Gohan would be strong, Beerus would have next to no interest in Earth. He'd only be interested in Goku and Vegeta. He'd go to their respective things. Then he wouldn't want a dead Super Saiyan God. He because notice how Whis. When he was talking about, let's say, when he, when Whis was talking about the Saiyans that were still alive, he didn't even talk about the ones that were in other worlds, like Bardock or anyone like that. He was just talking about the ones that were still alive. So he'd assume this submit and move on. But however, this would lead to their eventual doom. If you notice that after Battle of Gods, Goku and Vegeta went to go train with Whis, and this gave him a giant boost. They could go to a power beyond that of God. And, let's be honest, without this god power-up, they wouldn't have no chances against Golden Frieza. And that's why we move on to Resurrection F. No one would even make it to Golden Frieza. In fact, I don't even think anyone would stand up to Final Form Frieza at that. Golden Frieza would kill everyone. While Gohan would be stronger, he would not be strong enough to take down Frieza. Same with Piccolo and the other Z-Fighters. Maybe Frieza, they might be able to take down Frieza's army, but there's no way on Earth pun not intended, they can kill Frieza, and thus, Frieza would wipe out Earth. Even if they try to wish back Goku and Vegeta as quickly as possible, it would do them no good, because they haven't even had Whis's training yet, and they I doubt they, for, they don't even have even like a tenth of god power. So, you know, so in the end of the, so Dragon Ball Z would end with Frieza killing everybody on Earth. The end. So what do you guys think of this what if? And and again, this is my first what if, so it's not going to be that great, but tell me what I can improve on next time. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. This is Short 75. I'll see you guys and have an awesome day.